Let's see, can we can we get him back? Shit. We can't. We can gremlin heal him, but that's about it. Let's move down and get rid of uh, the stun lances. This is hopefully triggering the overwatch. It is. We're still protected. Alright. Okay, so we gotta deal with both of these clowns there. Could use the sniper, but we're not going to do that yet. By the way, can we see the shield bearer? No, you can just see an advanced trooper and that's about it. Wow, Roby can't see any of those guys. Hmm, disheartening. Yeah, I don't want to take cover behind the car. That's just not a good idea. And this here is barely too far away to see them. Hmm. Okay. Dark Tower. Can come in. Does he have, have a. Uh, uh, he has a stabilized but not a revival with his uh, med kit. That's unfortunate. Which means no matter how we're turning it, we're not going to um, be able to use Fury. All right, shield's been removed. Edgar Alien Poe moves up. We're going to give him Fortify so that the car counts as full cover. I don't like the position where he's at. I don't, I don't want to use it, but I also don't like the stun lances. Good. One of them is down. And now... So moving to here and attacking him. How much damage is this going to take? Five to seven. Hmm. But there is a chance for crit. So it's over 50% chance that we're going to kill him. Gotta take those odds. And we're still in full cover. Like it. I like it. It's one down. Thousands to go. The drone will start to neck us next turn. And I don't want that to happen. So since we have a clear line of sight, Almost got it down. Roby's overwatching. They are going to come closer to us. We're going to take another full cover over here and close the door. 
which is a brilliant move because that way they cannot attack us and instead need to get a little bit closer. So we got another door play coming up. And we're going to Overwatch. Zirkim is Overwatching as well. So we got two Overwatches. And a good high ground position. Plus the losses are going to come soon. Not the optimal start to fight those guys. But I think overall we did okay. Taking shots into full cover. Gotta be careful that the car does not explode. Purifier moves up and that should trigger Overwatch now. There we go. Oh, he survived that. Interesting. We definitely need to get out of out of there and fall back just a little bit. Maybe even put Edgar Alien here to the door. He has a pretty solid gun. Might as well make use of it. Okay, so we got two of their pack down, which means we got six more to go plus the drone, and then that is it. One of our biggest challenges for sure is going to be the boss with uh, with uh, Fury, our Templar that would have been no problem whatsoever because we could have easily tanked him. But unfortunately that's not possible anymore. I am surprised that they were even capable of uh, hitting him unconscious because normally the way it works in or it's supposed to work in long war is you cannot hit someone unconscious uh, unless they have taken damage beforehand. So basically the first step is just disorienting uh, the target. Must have been unlucky in this case. Dozens and dozens of losses. That's good news for us, bad news for the enemy. Gosh, this is going to be another 150 kills map, at least. So we can pretty sure that we can kill the purifier, which means let's optimize our our situation here. It's being one down. And that's another dasher down. Then we reload and then we kill the purifier. No a threat. Good. Purifier dealt with. Very good.
Hmm, so... Let's do this properly, shall we? We do not have Shredder, so hitting the boss will not do anything for us. Instead, let's just get rid of as many losses as we can for now. Hmm. Yeah, I think we still should try to get a hit. Can we hit the boss? No, we can't. Only really bad chances of hitting anyone. So might as well take down the dashers. Good. Now we're closing the door. And it's time to deal with the drone. The lost turn is after Advent's turn, which means for Advent's turn the door remains closed. We could position ourselves here. Hmm. Could position ourselves also here, but that would give a uh, that would mean we're the main target because everyone can see us, even though we're in full cover. I don't like the idea particularly. I like the blade storm that he brings to the table, so um, anyone essentially entering here would would take a hit. Yeah, we could go outside and take a high ground cover. Don't think that that is necessarily the best idea. Full cover here is okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like what I'm seeing. It's not really good. We're taking a shot for the general. That leaves us with a f uh, with um, the situation of being forced to reload next turn. But still, 60%. Hmm. We need to get rid of his armor first. Three armor is just painful to go through. Moving into cover over here. Moving into full cover over here. The question is probably is it worth uh, using a flashbang grenade? Probably not where we would only hit the captain. I'm not so worried about the captain, to be honest. Alright, reloading with Edgar Alien Poe. Overwatch here. We're reloading with Hayward. Pistol Overwatch. Another reload. Reload Overwatch. Let them come. They are, they are pretty busy with the losses at the moment. 
and they cannot see many of our soldiers. We got a few overwatches and if they advance they will be in trouble. Another disorientation. Alright, we're still protected. This guy moved up, which is okay. We can deal with that. By the way, very nice clustering of the enemies here for a nice little flashbang. Good. I think they haven't they haven't moved particularly intelligent. We're going to be able to abuse their positioning. And very soon their shields should also deactivate. Bladestorm? No, disorientation prevents Bladestorm apparently. The one thing that we haven't really used super well is our high ground over here. Could have done a better job doing that. And the sniper has a few targets which are... Uh, which have a high probability of uh, being hit. So let's start cleaning up the enemies. Fortunately, just a grazed shot there. Time to deal with the loss. One down, thousands to go. Could use some ammo over here. And time to deal with the troopers that were charging forward. Unfortunately, we're only landing grazing shots. best positioning that we do have. Probably need to suppress this guy. Starting to get rid of the other loss. Time for us to give Edgar Alien Poe himself uh, an aid protocol making his position even more beneficial. Like the idea of a flashbang, but they are just barely too far away. We could flashbang both of these guys. However, we could also start essentially killing them.
All right, no chance for a melee attack. We can't even close the door. That is ridiculous. Could hunker down to make ourselves a really unattractive target, and that's probably something we might want to do here. Yeah, why not? Hunkering down. Their damage currently would be pretty low anyways. Uh, there's a, a decent chance of hitting him. Probably not killing him. We can suppress him. Or use the flashbang grenade, which will trigger another um, swarm of loss. I'm not sure about the flashbang. I also like the idea of hitting the captain with a flashbang. It's maybe even the better idea. Let's try this. That'll trigger another lost swarm. Oh no, not yet. Almost. And we're going to hunker down here. Plus, I like the idea of the area suppression, just to make it a bit worse for everyone. Captain reloads overwatches. They're trying to flank, but there is really nothing to flank. Yeah, I was hoping that Roby would hit the overwatch shots, which he did not do. Yeah, they're spreading out a bit, but like, like I said, we do have a very, very solid uh, front line. They can't do much about it. That was probably a suicidal move, to be honest. Moving in and then finding out that you need to reload is not a very clever idea. Alright, everyone just lost their shields. Kind of what I was waiting for. Enough stalling out. Time for us to start moving. So chances to deal with the guy upstairs. That's one hit. And let's kill him. <sighs> Almost. That's a solid hit, 100% chance. I don't want to deal with him. So what are Roby's odds here? 50-50, okay. Good enough, he can't hit anyone else anyways. So I might as well try to kill less trooper up there. Thank you. We're down to five enemies. Closing the door. Oh, OK. 
okay, he hasn't moved in. He essentially is standing next to the door. Now I got it. Okay, it was just a graphical display bug as so often. Fifty-fifty, uh, forty percent. We don't want to do that. Let's see what else we could do theoretically. I like the idea of the hundred percent shot. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Fortunately, not enough damage to kill him right away, but still. Okay, we can't hit the guy behind the, the door. At least not with a flamethrower. How does that work? Like, where is he actually standing? Are you telling me he is... Okay, so he's standing... Here, behind that column. Okay, I get it, I get it. Which means for us... There's one overwatch shot. If we were, hmm, let me think. I mean, we could move over here into full cover, but we would take an overwatch shot, which we certainly don't want to do. Um, that, however, would give us flanking and we could kill him, right? Right, okay. Um, we can move into half cover here, strike through the half cover and hit him with our shinobi, um, which would probably kill him, but we're then left in half cover. And we don't have eight protocol, so we can't make it full cover. What's the disadvantage of just letting him be there and closing the door? Is there a disadvantage? Let's start with that train of thought. He can move. If he does so, everyone's in full cover and we can simply close the door and fall back a bit further. There's nothing wrong with that. Might as well do it. We can play it aggressively, but I don't think that that's a good idea in this specific case. Instead, let's move over here, get into full cover. Completely out of line of sight of the Overwatch. We're moving to here. Which will not trigger Overwatch because we're in full cover the entire time. And with our Shinobi. I'd like an overwatch from Dark Tarnoxus with our Shinobi. We can hunker down if needed. Closing on target position now. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Hunker down makes it impossible for us to be crit. And also, if he runs in, we're still having a really decent amount of cover. There's the overwatch number one. There's overwatch number two. There's overwatch number three. In case he really storms in, he's probably not going to survive it.
All right, very nice. They're coming in a bit closer. Double movement over here. Into half cover, that's great. Down to 2 HP. We got four enemies, two of which are pretty severely injured. And we have definitely a better positioning. This fight here is almost entirely won due to positioning and not due to like higher firepower. Or due to numbers. They essentially traded their stun lances for our uh, Templar. Which wasn't the worst trade for them. And now we're, yeah, we're left with, uh, mm, with pretty much a, f uh, a fight where everyone's just moving from cover to cover. So whoever can use cover better gets a better outcome. In our um, advantage, or to our advantage, the loss will always spawn behind them. So they will trigger their overwatch. Very nice, blade storm triggers. Okay, perfect. Time for us to activate our fortify because we're marked. Fortify just negates uh, that pretty handily. I like the idea of hitting the shield bearer. Unfortunately, yet another grazing shot. We got Shredder up here. So time to fortify because they might be shooting us from their position. Reload and let's shred the shield bearer. There we go, that's beautiful. Time to get some of the loss down. Alright, that's one down. Reloading, and I think with walk fire, our high percent chance to hit, we should be able to deal with the with a trooper here. Perfect. There we go. We're down to three enemies now. Good, we can suppress the general, and I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Reload here and then a good old suppression. We could also do an area suppression. Not the worst idea, that will hit the... Um, that will hit the shield bearer as well. And of course all of... All of uh, the loss. Opening the door. There should be a ton of loss over here. Yeah.
All right, we're just taking a couple of them down. I'm asking myself if it's worthwhile killing the blade, um, the shield bearer. Which would be from here. Um, good chance that we could kill him. I like the position though. Like we're in a strong position here. Every loss that is coming in will get uh, blade stormed. So who else hasn't moved yet? Alright, so that was 95% miss. Very unfortunate. Let's position ourselves in a better position over here with Edgar Alien again. And we might be able to kill the shield bearer from here. I'm not so worried about the loss. Like I said, almost all of uh, them would need to go through Bladestorm. I'd like to get the Shield Bearer down though. Perfect. No, we're not taking a 90% shot. Open and close the door. And we'll leave the loss with Advent. We got the Advent General, as well as one more trooper who's heavily injured. And that's about it. Damn. Too bad we missed him. Would have been really, really helpful to hit him because we we could have uh, shredded him. His three armor is still a big problem for us. I think our sniper is out of ammunition, elsewise this here would be a very, very simple kill. Yeah, and the loss, I mean, we can, we can use them for one more round, I think. They're decent in taking uh, the boss and taking his attention for now. We gotta find a way though of how to deal with his 31 hit points and his massive amount of armor. Blade Storm misses. Let's hope we're not getting any hits because so far we're not injured. Good. 
that worked out well. All right, Roby's cleaning up a few of the loss. Let's take a look at our sniper. I think we're out of ammunition. Yeah. Too bad. But we can hold a target the general, making it an easier target to hit. Essentially marking him. What I'm going to do, um, let me see. Let me see. Hmm. Moving to here. And I hope that I can hit the general with the flamethrower. That would be awesome. And it would be even better if I could ignite him. There we go, that's the shot. Time to burn, Time to burn baby. Time to burn, baby. Okay, so. Rock and roll. Reloading. Oh, let's take the loss down real quick. Down. Toss me some ammo. So we could still attack from here. Not the worst idea. Do we have a protocol? Yes, we do. Only 50-50 for him, so might as well. A protocol over here. Okay, so what else can we do? Locked and loaded. We could overwatch. Locked and loaded. Reload overwatch. Oh, we can attack him into full cover uh, from full cover. That's even better. But we can't do that once the door is closed. Well, gotta keep the door open then. That's fine. Hit the armor. Unfortunately, the armor is still way too strong. So we're overwatching in the hopes that we can hit him. Are we taking the 50-50? No, we don't even have armor penetrating rounds. 
Might as well Overwatch. If he moves, there is a chance that he's going to burn. Ah, that shot unfortunately missed. Okay, we're getting a bit closer to to maybe storming in and being able to deal with him. First of all, we gotta deal with his armor. There's no way around it. Very nice, this guy might even die. It's very tempting to rush in and essentially deal with the captain that way. But I think that's not the right uh, the right idea. We definitely got to reposition our folks up here. And we might want to fall back from the captain, as crazy as that sounds. But by doing so, the captain needs to, uh, needs to join us. And he'll walk right into us. Still, we gotta use Shredder. That's the probably the main objective, getting rid of his armor for now. All right, let's put down Fury here. Reload. Overwatch. Overwatch. I want to be a bit out of line of sight. Certainly not behind explosive cover. A bit out of line of sight, just so that uh, once he moves in, we can punish him for that. Overwatch. Another Overwatch. Edgar Alien takes a move completely out of line of sight and just reloads. Easy peasy. Door, I think, can no longer be closed, but that's okay. Again, we're moving out of line of sight. Overwatch with our sniper. And I hope that he's going to end up in a position where he doesn't have full cover. But I affect he does exactly that.
Matter of fact, he does exactly that. Good. Very good. Good. Moving into full cover again. And this here should catch him with his pants down. There we go. Alright, before we do anything, let's see if we can use the sniper. Because maybe a holder targeting here. be the smarter move. All right, this here should not trigger Overwatch because we're out of line of sight. Uh, out of range, rather. And we should be able to auto target him. There we go. Good. That'll help to land the shots. And this here is important to hit. Very nice. Shredded, critical, Overwatch removed. Perfect. Let's move on. We're leaving our really, really well defended high ground position up there. And let's try to shred him further. Yeah, that's what we want to see. Well done. Now he's down to only one armor. We can't shred that at the moment, but what we can do is we can deal with him. Move in here. We're still marked, so he has a higher chance of hitting us, which means we're going to fortify. He still has one armor, but I mean, it's just what it is. It now it's time to get aggressive. Ninety-six percent shot, unfortunately missed. Well, it's very unfortunate. Okay, this here is a situation where we can see him. Ziakim has armor penetrating rounds. Okay, good, good, very good. Crit would have been better, but... We're taking what we can get at this uh, point. This here should be the kill. Ooh, very nice.
All right, this should be it. What a final fight. And we're one hour, 50 minutes in. Oh my God. That's one other thing for the long war mod that I personally do not like. And I already cut out, by the way, many of uh, the scenes. Just the immense amount of time investment permission. It's crazy. Good Is that finishing the mission? Please. Thank you. See you guys. That's why it takes one, um, almost four hours to go through a mission. We're, we're looking at 160 kills. This is crazy. All right, enough is enough. Justice has been delivered, guys, and we got a lot of promotions here. Nicely done. First of all, Rodriguez, our sniper, finally got her promotion. I think we're going to go with uh, Dead Eye here. Just so that we can one shot from time to time. Lovely. I like Chain Shot. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, the ability points yet. Edgar Allan Poe. Really, really good mission that we've seen from him. Healing abilities restores four additional hit points. So that is awesome. Specifically later. Failsafe, however, on the other hand, is also not bad. Ah. Decisions over decisions. I think we're going to go with uh, Savior for now. I really like the healing route. And we're certainly going to take Evasive. Basically, you start a mission uh, with like uh, 100 dodge points, which means you're only taking certain uh, half damage. And yeah, that, that means the very first shot that uh, is going to hit you is, is just taking half damage. Oh no, uh, sorry, in Long War it's being reduced by one category. A crit is reduced to a normal hit, a hit to a glancing blow, and glancing blow to half damage. So yeah, that's pretty good. Zirken, let's see. That one is good. Implaceable is probably what I'm going to go for. Raising fire, I like it, just for a bit additional uh, damage, so it's not bad. But Implaceable just gives you so many tactical options. Dr. Noxus. Uh, we're going to go with Formidable, two additional ablative points and 50% from grenades is just the way to go. That one is good as well. Grenades and rockets do full damage to units to the maximum extent of uh, their of their range, which really isn't bad uh, for for him. It's essentially maximizing the damage specifically of his rocket. However, formidable is really, really helpful. You want your soldiers to survive and taking only 50% off um, damage from explosives yourselves in the late game will be crucial. I like that one as well against mechanical units. As always, the, the problem is there are so many good talents that you want to pick all of them, but you can't. And Formidable, in my perspective, is just one of the strongest abilities. Roby is uh, upgraded, uh, as has been promoted. I think Chain Shot is the way to go here. Iron Curtain isn't bad either. Um, 
but we're not going to fight over multiple rounds. I like the destruction of Demolition, but realistically he's not. it's not his job to dis uh, destroy cover. He needs to suppress and deal damage. This one here isn't bad either, specifically for Chain Shot, and he has Rapid Fire. So I think we're going to spend some points for him here. Good, and here we're probably going with Heat Warheads. Your granites now pierce up to two additional points of armor and shred one more point of armor is uh, the way to go. I like Tandem Warheads, it's also pretty good. Actually, really, really good. But we got to deal with the armor and having additional shredding is the way to go. Now look at that, 150 supplies, which is godsend, uh, lots and lots of uh, alloys, PCSs, and the good part is all of the corpses, 120 lost corpses. We are rich, and we can have many, many, many research projects, but all of that, if we're now looking at our armory, is not uh, not relevant now because we need to take whoever is not like completely and utterly tired and basically throw them into the next mission. I'm not a big fan of using tired uh, soldiers for missions, but uh, we... basically are being attacked over here one thing that all right we're tracking the aliens progress on thank you now finally here's something that i need to explain once you liberate the first the first area uh, you will see the avatar project the avatar project is running way before uh before the uh, before you actually do that so whether or not you see it has no impact on the on the progress of the avatar project and now you just simply see how the avatar project progresses one of the other things that you notice is there are more blips this is just uh typical lone war stuff and here you can now see that the region is liberated which means Can we recruit? No, we can't. And the reason why we can't recruit is because uh, we just lost um, we just lost um, a mission in that area earlier in the run. Anyways, we can put an advisor there very soon. For the time being, if they all just gather supplies, yeah, we normally you want to put an engineer in there, but we need them in other missions which means our next target is going to be this year and i'll shortly uh, get the outfit of uh, the team going all right i got the team prepared i'll do some modifications until uh, the next mission probably uh, i'll probably go in with less than eight soldiers here uh, so that the tired soldiers are not all uh, going to take psychological uh, consequences out of it. Maybe we're trying to run it with um, a lower number of soldiers. Anyways, thank you for watching. It's been a two-hour mission. I appreciate your patience with it and see you in the next run, guys. Bye-bye.